What's up guys, it's Casey Zilgelman, aka The Fourth Sanders and Sister, coming at you with another Hocus Pocus 2 behind the scenes reaction video. In today's video, I'm going to be watching the um, Hocus Pocus 2 behind the scenes first look at the making of Hocus Pocus 2 featurette that Hocus Pocus Guide has on their channel. Again, if you're not following them on Instagram, you really should be. Um, so that's what I'm going to be watching today and reacting to that. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, I think... This is finally the last of the behind the scenes. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is the last of the behind the scenes now. I think I've covered all of them. Which means next week, hopefully you guys will have a theory. If not, I'll be doing a top ten of some sort um, for Hocus Pocus 1 or 2. We'll see what happens. Um, but before I get started with the reaction, I just want to uh, remind everybody that this Sunday, April 16th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, is my birthday stream. I'll be doing a really, really fun Hocus Pocus Bean Boozled trivia quiz that you guys and the moderators over on the Discord made up. And uh, as one of the moderators is one of my best friends in real life, she is very confident that I am going to not get several of these. So look forward to that and me probably having to try some really disgusting jelly beans um when i get a question wrong and i'm gonna be opening the fan mail that was sent to me by two of my amazing viewers um and we're gonna do a little bit of a q a not a huge q a i'm gonna try it and see how it works so but i would really really like as many of you there as possible um for my birthday stream because i am taking time out of my birthday to do to do a fun stream with you guys and i'm really looking forward to spending it with the witches and wizards on the channel so please 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 consider attending on sunday i'm making it during the day because i know some of my overseas uh subs have not been able to make the lives on saturday night hopefully this will be at a better time for you guys as well okay so without further ado let's get started on the reaction as soon as we walked on the set the dynamic between the three of us was exactly the same as it was 30 years ago it's as if these characters lived with us for the last 30 years. They lived with us, too. It was not a difficult transition to step back into those boots. It's very special to be part of something that has become so meaningful in people's lives. It's huge. And action. Yes, Salem, we're back! For some of us, it's just I really wanted an actual backstory to the Sanderson sisters. Happy 16th We all did, Anne. We all did. In Hocus Pocus 2, we have three young girls in Salem. Who are you? We have to rally together against three evil witches. <laughs> These women are so talented and added such a great layer to this whole experience. They were Hocus fun. Hocus Pocus 2 does really well. Izzy's the best. Up where Alyssa the left off. <laughs> It's a movie of friendship, and these friends accidentally bring back the Sanderson sisters. If we intend to live past sunrise, we have to steal their souls. Whoa, whoa, wait, can we talk about this? No! <laughs> I'm excited for the audience to see Salem come back to life. Oh, this God, just the joy so on her fun. face when she's flying. Because it pays homage to the original movie. Gilbert. Being its own thing. It was a real thrill to come back and play these characters. It was a thrill oh, to watch. Oh, what fun we had. We had a lot of fun. Oh, God, why is this getting me going? Holy moly. Woo, that got me going a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, it did get me going a little bit. Oh, man. You just, you can't, you can't put a price on how much this meant to us. You can't put a streaming price on how much this meant to us. You can't put a movie ticket price on how much this meant to us. This was beyond money. This was, this was everything. This was everything for a lot of us. Um, <clears throat> and I know I'm reacting to this like six months after the fact, but it still got me going over here. I actually, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's just, <sighs> when they said it was like the characters lived with them for 30 years, I was like, they lived with all of us too. Like 
because we took them into our hearts as children and we hung on to them for so long and now so many of us have grown up with the Sanderson sisters and we have loved them our whole lives so to get them back was so special it was so special and you can't recreate that feeling like when I burst into tears during the teaser trailer reaction that was raw and real because it was like oh my god they're here again they're back this is everything I've ever hoped for and it's just it was pure joy they brought they brought a lot of happiness back to people who had missed them who might be going through some stuff just like I am and was especially so like for me getting those three back they had been with us for 30 years they had been with us our whole lives they've meant the world to so many people and I know it's so funny that we like we idolize these child soul essence stealing witches but I think it goes it goes beyond that it goes beyond their villainy yes we do love them because they're wicked and the way they are but we love them more because I think secretly we all want to be like them as confident as they are in themselves like let's look at let's look at Sarah she lives her best life every step of the way no matter what people call her no matter what people say to her she finally stood up and grew a pair and um told off the person who had been steamrolling her and like I want that I have someone like that in my life that I have not had my I am not a fool moment. I am a good and loyal sister, and I expect to be seen as such. I haven't had that moment yet with that person, but I want that Sarah moment. And then let's look at Mary. Mary is just, she's all of us. <laughs> she is all of us. Like, but she never degraded herself, really. And that to me was great. And she never was degraded either. Like, that was one thing I appreciate about Mary is in the first movie. Now, in the novelization, they do make some snide remarks about her weight. But in the first movie, they didn't make any cracks about how fat she was. They didn't do anything like that. They just let Mary be Mary. And we love her again 30 years later. I think I love her even more 30 years later because I, gr I grew up and I was just like, oh, wow, no. I, I'm with you. You're the one that I'm most like. Like, I understand what you go through. You work so hard to impress certain people. And it's like, you're still trying to be you. And you're doing a great job at it. And she just, she has so much fun. She has no cares about what people think about her, really. Other than Winifred. And... She lives her life to the fullest just like Sarah does. Like, those, those two, and Mary just, she's just great because she does, she just does, she does things that she wants to do. She does the thing, but she also listens to somebody. She cares about somebody very, very much. Sarah cares about someone too, but she also talked up for herself she stood up for herself and then of course we look at Winifred and Winifred is inside she's this scared kid who just loves her family and wants to keep her family together but she also has this tough facade that she puts on she's so snarky she does what she does for her but she also cares so much about her sisters it goes beyond them being bad guys as why we love them it's it's what they are, what they represent. They represent freedom to be you. They represent freedom to be yourself. Sarah was herself to her fullest. Mary was herself to her fullest. Winifred was herself to her fullest. But she was also guarded, like a lot of us are. I mean, just, they're very relatable characters. They're very relatable characters. And the fact that we got them back, and I think that's what got me emotional, is like, Bet talking about how great it was to bring these characters back to life and Kathy being like it was no problem to step back into those boots and Sarah Jessica just saying she was honored to be part of something that is so big now like this 
And then we have the new kids, which arguably are not as good as the first ones. But Izzy? Come on, y'all. You tell me you don't love Izzy, I'm gonna have to fight you in the street, because Izzy was awesome. Ballista Escobedo crushed it. I love Izzy. Izzy was, again, the most relatable. Like, I watched her, and I was like, I see you, I feel you, and I like you, because, yeah, I get everything that you're, yep, everything about Izzy was great. Becca was cool, too, um, to a lesser extent, but I kind of explained, uh, what was missing with her, which you can watch that video by clicking on this thing right here. It's actually one of the better ones I've done. And if you haven't watched it because you're like, oh, it's about Becca, watch it. <laughs> Just watch it. Trust me. Cassie needed more airtime. That's all I got to say about that. But she was good for what she was in. And just like... <sighs> Hocus Pocus Doom meant a lot to so many people, and just going back and watching this behind the scenes thing, you can tell how much love, care, and admiration everybody had for this. The fact that the three came back meant the absolute world to this fandom, and to all of us who just watched the movie and love it, it wouldn't have been the same without them. And the fact that they love it so much that all three of them came back to do it 30 years later and then they were like, yep, it was like no time had passed. We stepped back onto that set and it was 30 years ago. Like, you can't replicate that kind of amazing camaraderie and you can't replicate the feeling that it brought to us. Like, that... 2022 is the happiest year I've had in a very, very long time. And it will remain that that way. Like, Hocus Pocus 2 changed my life in so many different ways. It got this channel monetized. It got me into a part-time YouTube career that I just, I do love. Even though I do struggle with it some days. But it's such fun. And I get to, every week I get to talk about Hocus Pocus. That's the best thing in the world for me. Is I get to just talk about this thing that I love. And I get to do these silly, like, bean boozled things, like, coming up on Sunday. All because of these three witches that I love so stinking much. And it's just, and we all love them. Like, I know the loudest people on the internet were like, oh, two was terrible. A vast majority of everybody else loved it they would say it wasn't as good as the first one and I agree with that sentiment but it was good and it was fun and it just brought me so much joy it brought so much joy not just to us but clearly to the cast and crew like there's a reason the Sanderson sisters are probably the most beloved Halloween characters to ever exist because they speak to all of us in a different way we all connect with one of them in one way or another Um, and we, we just, we love them. We love them so much. And I know I do. So, so much. And it's just, this, this behind the scenes thing is just so nice. It's nice to know I can go back and look at that, at the interview with Bet and Kathy and Sarah. And it's just, it's just nice. Again, like I said in the other video, it's just nice. It's a nice thing that we have, and we don't have many nice things in the world now. And it's just a nice thing. And it makes me feel good anytime I think or talk about it, or watch anything related to it. It just fills me up with good feelings for a little while in this crazy mixed up world we are in. <laughs> and it's just, it's so good. Hocus Pocus is good. It's good any time of the year. I know there are a lot of people who just watch it during Halloween, and that's great. But for me, it's like, if I'm feeling down, one or two goes in. Either to the DVD player or up on streaming. Like, it just, it feels good. This, this behind the scenes thing, my reaction is, I just, I feel good. I feel good now. <laughs> like, I just, I feel good. And I feel like I'm going to have a good rest of the night. And it's just... I can't describe in words how it makes me feel other than I feel good. I feel good. I feel happy. Like, I just feel happy. And I know there are other people out there who feel the same way that I do for one reason or another with this pair of movies. And it's just, it's great. These characters are great. And Bet 
Sarah Jessica, Kathy, if you happen to see this, thanks. Just thanks. Thanks for giving them to us 30 years ago, and thanks for bringing them back in 2022. We really appreciate it, all three of you so much. And we love Sarah Mary and Winifred, and we will until the day we die. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me? Helps you guys get more great content like this. Saturday night, Black Flame Gaming will be back, even though it's the day before the birthday stream. I want to do a chill stream before we do that stream. Um, so Black Flame Gaming will be back Saturday night and we'll be continuing Mary Sanderson's randomized Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke, which has just been a hoot. It has been a hoot and a half and I love it. Like, you guys are so fun. If you're not attending these streams, I don't care. Even if you don't like Pokemon or you know nothing about Pokemon, it's so much fun to just come watch me be a goofball for two hours. Like, it's it's fun. It's just fun. Um, and then on July 16th, Hocus Pocus's 30th anniversary, I'll be going live with a Hocus Pocus Trivia and Treats watch along here on the channel. Um, that'll be at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll, we'll have fun with that to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Hocus Pocus. Um, I already talked about the birthday stream, and that will no longer be part of the outro once uh, Sunday passes. But please, please, please consider attending the birthday stream on April 16th, this Sunday, at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I had to plug it one more time because I really want people to show up because it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> you guys are going to get to meet the fourth Sanderson sister, the my actual fourth Sanderson costume. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um... So yes, if you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and share your thoughts on this video and behind the scenes featurette down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, aka the fourth Sanderson sister, and I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am put a hell on you.